way equals what I have left. Right? So if that's the case, where should the 40 be? I stumbled into the profession. So I was working for Mayor Reardon and I was miserable in that job and I just felt it wasn't spiritually rewarding and I felt I needed something spiritually rewarding. So I had a friend who was actually a dance teacher for the art prototype program at the time. It was brand new. And they were looking for actual artists to come in to teach dance and art, not just teachers who knew, but people who had worked in the field. And I, I have danced professionally, so she asked me to come in as a dance teacher. And I remember that first day um, I had a kindergarten class at Century Park. and. Um, after the lesson, the teacher pulled me aside and she's telling me all these stories about these kids and it just brought back all these memories of myself and what I'd been through and how I had become successful and that I would be the best person to give back and to be like a living testimony to these children. And so that's what sort of my passion sort of started right then and there. I don't take my job lightly and I know every little thing I do matters and makes a difference. And I remember from when I taught upper grade, that there's certain things that if I don't get right now, they'll, they'll struggle with for the rest of their lives. It's the most challenging thing to do other than parenting. One thing that I've learned from the best teachers that I've seen is that they are always eager for more. They never know enough. They never feel like they're the expert. They're always searching for more. And I think that goes with, with anything that you do, any profession, you know. Like I feel Kobe Bryant was good at what he does because he, he knows he's good, but still he's always studying that tape, you know, to get better. So I feel the same way with teaching. I've studied some of the best. I had some really good mentors, and I still keep in touch with those people, and I'm always looking for more. But I really do feel that this is my calling, and this is what I'm supposed to do. Well, I feel like teaching is the noblest profession in the world, and I get to touch the future every single day because I get to inspire kids, and I don't know what they might become and what their value is going to be, and you can't put a price on that.